Hey Krista, how's it going? It's Shami with Celltown Chrysler. Just uh, wanted to send you this little walk around. I just gave this 18 Grand Cherokee, or sorry, the 18 Cherokee uh, Trailhawk Plus a really nice wash. Uh, so I just kind of go through some of the features. I mean, there's a lot of features to go through on this one. Uh, some of the notable things, obviously, on the Trailhawk, you do get that nice little decal on the hood. Uh, you get some blacked out badging, the blacked out wheels, and on top of that too, obviously, the upgraded tires and the nice red tow hooks up front there. So really, really nice look. Um, and this one as well had a really nice, uh, uh, the crossbars installed at the top from the previous owner too. Now this is a one owner with no accidents. I will go through the features here. Now I am kind of keeping my eye out for any kind of chips. And I see really small ones here. So I see one little small chip there. There's one little small one there. One faint one over there as well. Now you will notice on the actual Jeep logo, there's just a little bit of fading right here in the, on the actual uh, painted area there. We have one little rock chip right here on the fender. just on the side there, a few just in between the grills, so this really small spare, I mean obviously it is a, you know, Alberta, so you are going to get some rock chips every now and then, but pretty, pretty small. Uh, this one does have the parking sensors in the front as well, which is super nice, um, obviously those nice LED daytime lights really, really look good, uh, but those tires I mentioned to you, so these are the upgraded tires. Now they do come uh, really, really nice. And I believe the spare in this one would all also be uh, um, a full size. Now if you notice on this side as well, there's just one little small faint, almost like a little rock chip dent right here. I don't know if you could see that. So kind of to see it right there. So it's pretty minor. Pretty minor, uh, but other than that, the body itself is in really nice shape. I'm not seeing any kind of major scratches or, or dings or dents. Those are just the body lines there on the side. But a really, really nice shape. Now this one also has the tow package. Uh, so you have your tow package, your hitch, uh, the wiring as well. Uh, and you do have rear parking sensors in this one too. Another nice red tow hook on the back. Now this one itself, if you notice, does have one little blemish right here on the back of the tailgate itself. So it's just got one little scratch uh, with a small, small little dent in there too. Now other than that though, other than that, I'm not seeing anything else. I mean, maybe just a little bit of faint faint little wear on the sides here on the plastic trim now I am going to oh sorry and on, on this actual backup uh, camera you can notice there's a little bit of paint uh, that's just chipping on the edge there now I'm just gonna pop this one open it is a power tailgate now in the back I mean you have tons and tons of space uh, obviously you kind of have your dividers here as well and obviously your full size spare, which is not uh, not too common nowadays, but you can fold that second row completely flat. I mean, obviously this has the panoramic sunroof, really nice look in the cockpit there. So I'm just gonna close this really quick, hit that button, and that shuts. Now let's look at the back seats here. Now if you notice, this one just needs a little bit of a clean. We got one little small, small stain that'll come right out. But other than that, I mean, the seats itself are in really, really nice shape. No rips, no tears. This does not smell like it was ever smoked in as well. Headliner is really clean. And obviously there's that really nice panoramic. The previous customer did put in some rubber mats and you do have a nice full plug-in in the back. Okay, now when it comes to the side mirrors, you'll notice it's got this little triangle. So essentially it has the blind spot assist function. So if someone's in your blind spot, that will light up a nice amber color, give you an audible alert on the inside. Uh, it is a push button ignition, so you don't need to take the keys out of your pocket. Literally, all you have to do is hit that button to lock and unlock. 
And if you notice, the really nice trill, uh, trill hawk badge in there. But the inside itself, super clean. Now this one just has very little minimal wear on this side of the, uh, the bolster. You do have your Jeep uh, mats there again, but one thing I actually just noticed right now was this. So if you notice on this, uh, this is almost like a little sticker. I, I'm pretty sure we would have these in service. I can definitely double check, uh, but you notice there's a little bit of chippage on this actual film here. And that is the only side I see that on. I'm just gonna do a little walk on this side. Yeah, so not on this side. So overall, I'll definitely take a look at that and see kind of if we stock those. I'm, I'm sure we do. Um, now we do also have the power driver seat on this side, two position uh, memory, obviously your automatic uh, auto down windows on the, uh, the front driver and passenger. Okay, oh yeah, it's nice and warm. Okay, so kilometers, 108, 304. Uh, here's your really nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Definitely feels good in the hands. Now, you will notice you have your Bluetooth, you have your cruise control, and you have your adaptive cruise. So that is super cool. Obviously, it uh, will automatically apply the brakes for you and slow you down if, if you know you are in cruise control and, and someone in front of you starts to slow down and you're not paying attention. So it's really nice because I know you mentioned you, you like something for the highway. Uh, so if you do a lot of highway, adaptive cruise really is a, it's a lifesaver. It's really, really nice. Now with that as well, you will get the collision mitigation uh, and the uh, lane keep assist functions as well. And this one itself also has the, uh, the auto park feature too, which is really nice. You can turn the sensors off uh, for the parking sensors in the front and rear if you, if you wanted to. Uh, you do also have your lane keep assist function and you do have your collision mitigation too. So, when it comes to your four wheel drive settings, obviously you have your low, you have your locking settings, so you can lock your uh, differential to, to give you that 50-50 power uh, split. Now you also do have some modes, right? So you have your auto mode, a snow mode, a sport, sand mud, and a rock. Now essentially what that's gonna do is uh, adjust the way the uh, transmission shifts. So, you know, especially in the snow mode where, you know, you don't wanna be starting off uh, in too low of a gear, it usually pops you up to kind of that second gear from a takeoff. So overall, you'll notice, I mean, there's a lot of technology in these Trailhawks. Uh, definitely keep you uh, nice and uh, safe on the roads, no matter what the conditions are. Um, now you will see you have an auto electric uh, parking brake. Now this one also has the automatic start stop function. Now that's super cool because I mean, if you do even a lot of city driving, it helps you maximize the fuel efficiency. So essentially, you know, when you come at a stoplight, your engine will automatically kill, uh, cut off. Uh, your accessory, your heat, your electronics, everything will be functioning. Uh, but when it comes to your, uh, uh, your engine itself, it will cut off, help you save some fuel if you're doing a lot of stop and go. Um, now you will notice you got a nice LCD screen back there that obviously you can kind of customize, go through different options, go through all your, uh, you know, safety features as well, your trip info, uh, and just kind of go through your audio settings as well. Now I do personally like, uh, let's see, oh, the digital speedometer. So it's got a nice digital speedometer, it kind of helps. I personally like that myself. Uh, when I'm driving now, you will notice as well, this one does have this little pad up here, usually for uh, a phone, um, but you will do have a little bit of storage up here too. So pretty handy spot to put your uh, um, insurance and, and kind of registration documents. Now, obviously we do have that full panoramic sunroof. Now you can close the actual cover. But why would you want to do that? It looks so nice. There you go. Uh, but when it comes to the inside again here, you can pop this one into reverse. You'll notice that the backup camera is adaptive. When I do turn my wheel, the lines do move. And that center line is essentially there to help you set up a hitch uh, to line one up. Now, other than that, when it comes to the controls, so. Not only do you have the heated seats, not only do you have the cooled seats, but you also have the heated steering wheel. And you also have a power rear view dimmer uh, for your rear view mirror, which is really nice. So if someone has super bright lights behind you, it'll automatically dim uh, to definitely kind of keep that in check. 
Uh, now, when it comes to the features itself, obviously there are a ton. Now, when it comes to navigation as well, it is a nice, nice navigation system. Kind of pinch to zoom. There we go, oops. But other than that, I mean, the heat works really, really well. It's definitely almost getting too hot in here. And sound system. So this one has a really nice sound system. I'm just gonna see if I can adjust the... sound system I'm just gonna pop this in a drive now if you notice the windshield itself is clean there's no chips no cracks I'm just gonna take this for a little drive so I mean one of the nicest features about the uh, Cherokee is is gonna be the size obviously it's very very easy to, to drive around they still feel like you're in something very solid uh, and very sturdy uh, but the only difference obviously being is is you save quite a bit more fuel um, Than you know your your bigger SUVs obviously when it comes to your overall costs at the end of the year uh, But above and beyond that too, you you definitely are not going to be losing any type of uh, uh, Traction or, or reliability And again very nimble very easy to drive the brakes feel super super tight in this one, too Now, if you notice, this one does have the side windows, passenger and the driver windows uh, slightly tinted. We can remove that if you want to, but uh, me personally, I love the tints. Kind of helps, uh, something I do on all my cars anyway, but it is something that if you don't like, we can definitely rip off for you. Now, it does handle the, the bumps pretty well. And when it comes to the drive itself, I'm not hearing any kind of uh, weird or obnoxious noises. It's driving very, very nice. All right. So we are now at the end of the video. All right, now I forgot to mention here, we do have your USB, your auxiliaries as well. Another USB and another plug-in in there. And obviously your glove box as well. So definitely very, very uh, nice vehicle. I really do hope you, you enjoy the walk around here. And yeah, so I mean, at the end of the day, let me know what you think, Krista. Uh, again, the Cherokee, the Trailhawks here, they definitely do very, very well at our store. So I'd love to see how this one fits for you. Um, and definitely do give me a show. Let me know what you think. You can reach me on my cell, 780-932-7597. Do let me know if this one would work, Krista, and then I can definitely kind of see uh, where the payments would be. Um, and any of the blemishes that I did mention, do mention if any of them are, are some that are, you know, kind of causing any troubles or something that you would need to have replaced. Because uh, at the end of the day, I am here to make sure that you're completely satisfied and happy. But again, uh, Shami again, Selton Chrysler. Hope you liked the video. I will reach out very, very shortly here and uh, see what you think. Thanks so much.